The nomination committee of the Skateboarding Hall of Fame decided to split the 1970s and the 1980s into two eras because after all, a lot happened in those two decades and there are a lot of legendary riders who need to be inducted. With that being said, we are now at our era one 1980s professional male skateboarder. The man we are about to induct is a highly creative artist, a musician, an innovator of vertical moves on and above the coping as well. The lean air, it's probably his most famously noted trick, as well as the woolly mammoth, and too many other lip and invert variations to list here tonight. Not a man of many words, he's a humble giant, always letting his skateboarding and his artwork and music speak for himself. To induct Neil Blender into the 2015 Hall of Fame, please welcome to the stage former GNS team manager, the legendary Steve Cathy, and 2014 Hall of Famer, Mr. Lance Mountain. Who wants to go first? You want to go first? All right, so last Friday I received a call from Lance Mountain. And it was a huge surprise. I have never received a call from Lance. And I must say, I was a little starstruck. Lance calling me. I, I, I'm, this is an honor to be able to do this for Neil. When Lance called and asked for, asked for me to help out to do this for Neil, for his induction, I said, wow, what an honor. I would love to do this. When I retired from skating, I became a team manager for GNS. And I want to give a little shout out to Mr. Larry Gordon. At that time, there was a transition of new skaters coming into the 80s, and I was blessed to put together a great team of guys, names you will all recognize, Billy Ruff, Chris Miller, Gator, Jim Gray, and of course, Neil Blender. On a weekend, any of these team riders could win a contest, and over time, they all did. However, for Neil, it was never on a competitive side. It was always out of just having fun. As we all know, Neil is an artist, a designer, a very creative person, and he puts those talents into his skating. At a contest, Neil may have started his run with a set of routine of tricks, However, halfway through, he would mix it up and do whatever he felt like doing. And then, of course, he would throw in some new trick that he had never done before. But then again, that's Neil's style. When Neil skates a pool, a park, or banks, you just want to stop and watch him skate. He's that good. He's that entertaining. As an individual, Neil is always, be, is always fun to be around. You never know what to expect, and you are always amazed on what he does. He is one of the most creative and talented skaters of our time, and I must say, I'm a little starstruck knowing Neil Blunder as well. Okay, he covered everything. Um, I'm going to make it real quick. Impossible. Neil Blender. <laughs> First of all, we, we, everyone has different experiences with different guys, and it means so much. And uh, Neil means so much to the generation of skateboarders that saw vertical skateboarding crumble and the competition level crumble. And... Uh, a lot of us amateurs were turned pro at the time, and uh, we saw Neil bring things to the table that so became part of skateboarding throughout everybody's lives, and it wasn't just competition. He looked at things 
in so many different ways. And um, he would uh, draw pictures of skateboard moves that weren't done for five or six years later. Uh, he'd draw these pictures and we were like, we got to learn that trick. It wasn't even a trick that could be possible. And, we, and he, would, uh, uh, he would film, he would film the guys and he, uh, he filmed Steve Cavallaro doing a, a fake invert up a wall years before the, a wall ride was uh, done. He, he would study films and um, he would play his Super 8 films backwards and uh, he filmed an invert and he would watch that invert backwards and he would play it backwards and then come back normal and he, he realized he realized that's a trick that can be done and uh, I remember Neil trying this trick and he was trying to imitate an invert in film in reverse and push it up into a fake invert and come down and he, he was just over there practicing it and working on it and he realized it's, it's not happening. It, it can't be done right. <laughs> and um, that contest, all 30 of us did that trick. <laughs> Completely wrong, all proud, we're getting points, we got a new trick here. And uh, Neil said, wow, the fakie everybody. And uh, I want to say that trick still hasn't been done correctly to this day. These young kids will learn it. They might learn it. This is something Neil's brain came up with 30 years ago. Uh, there's so many stories. There's no one like him. He, he just developed the, the, the heart of what skateboarding is, and it's, it's being creative. Um, we want to bring up Neil Blender. We're so proud of you, Neil. Might not be as rad as Dwayne's fucking thing, but hey, what the fuck? Oh, well, I don't know if Larry Balma made this or not. I don't think so. <laughs> I wish he did, but hey. No. Anyway, I'd like to thank uh, people that made skateboarding rad to like follow, like when you see photographs. Dave Andrix. Tom, Tom Inouye, yeah. Chris Stropel, yeah. um, <laughs> that's about it, man. I appreciate it. Skateboarding has been rad. Thanks, Bryce. Oh yeah, thank, thank Gordon and Smith, Tracker, all that shit, man. It's all good. <laughs> Give it up for Neil Blender. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs>